patient-centered care can range from patients being involved in their own care to actually being involved in designing programs and identifying what it is they need. We have a parent advisory council that has been giving us advice for five or six years. Uh, in the last few years, they've identified uh, more specifically a number of key initiatives, and one of those was a family-to-family -family connections group. When we meet with parents, they always tell us that there's benefits to meeting other parents and to the type of information they get from me meeting other families um, that they can't get anywhere else. So, um, for example, um, advice on practical day-to-day -day issues, um, family issues, um, Advice uh, with navigating the service delivery system, for example, um, is very different when it's provided um, from a family perspective. When my child was born in 1993, there was very, very little known about her particular syndrome. And um, we were Instead of encouraged, we were very much discouraged. Um, I don't want that to happen to another family ever again. I didn't understand what it was that I sought. I, I, knew, um, I knew what it sounded like, what it looked like, but I, I didn't know the term, which was family-centered care, patient engagement, family, um, teaching family self-advocacy skills, um, basically just offering hope as opposed to just negativity. When we first got the grant from CHSRF, we had a certain concept in mind that we thought was going to guide the program and uh, be the way the program was going to be run. We looked at the literature and saw what parent-to-parent -parent support typically looks like. And typically it's a, uh, a parent matching process where you uh, have a parent who has a child with a particular disability who wants to talk to another parent who has a similar child with a similar condition. But when we went out and did focus groups and surveys with our parents, that's not what they told us they needed. Up you go. They said that what they really wanted was opportunities to meet parents as other parents as a group. Um, and to meet them on their own terms and to have opportunities to make their own connections. Lucky. Right, and so I started phoning around and I started going on Google. And At Google. the first meeting it was really exciting to see this all come to fruition. So she's not involved in anything and didn't even know she really had a special needs daughter. The topic right? was how to share your story. So we had two parents uh, who were able to sort of share their experiences. Grayson, uh, Tracy was picking Grayson up at school, and a little boy came running out of the room. And it was really exciting to see sort of those the natural uh, support that happened within the group right from the very beginning. Grayson is so smart; he can read. Oh my God. It was just such a breath of fresh air. All these parents getting together, and all of us, regardless of our kids' syndrome or or special need, we all were in the same boat on many levels and just to be in the same room with other people and just um, you know feel welcomed in all areas of what I had to say um, was extremely positive. If you don't have support from the senior leadership all the way down you're not going to succeed so there has to be buy-in both for the concept and for the actual work that's being done. I think the, um, the genuine nature of it can't be overstated. Uh, it needs to be more than window dressing. Uh, it needs to be um, uh, fully accepted by the organization that this is the way they do business. This is the way you have the best patient outcomes. Uh, and with that commitment on the part of the organization from the bottom to the top, uh, then the patient engagement will be that much more effective and meaningful. Put him down and it's, really it's, it's just nice to see the, uh, 
there's other parents out there struggling through the same struggles you are, and it gives you a case of, you know, a sense of camaraderie. You learn so much, and it's so nice to know that there's other people out there experiencing the same thing as you, and you don't feel so isolated and left alone. Separations are huge, and then you got to be okay. We had to change gears midway through the program, but the additional work and the time that was taken to redesign the program and redesign the evaluation were absolutely worthwhile. I love my kids and I want to be there for them and uh, anything that helps me be a better dad, I'm all for it. They really feel like it's theirs. They really feel like um, that we were true we to our commitment uh, to have them involved uh, and that the product I think is much superior to what we would have had had we just gone along and, and had implemented what we thought it was going to look like in the first place.